Hi everybody. Uh, first of all, I want to say thank you very much for the time that you guys have been connecting with me over time with the Armed Heart. I've got some information that I'd like to share with you. Uh, I'm uh, would like to bring to your attention something that's called the Crystal Crown. I call it the crystallized crown because of the way that things have been going. We've been going through a lot of um, situations where we're having to deal with what we place or what we're being led to believe to place on top or of our others or when I say placing it on someone else's head when I'm crowning someone with this thought it means that I'm basically seeing that person I'm, I'm, I'm projecting my emotional energy towards that person in a particular way now what's interesting about the, the day and age that we're in right now the current time that we're in is that the situation with separating us from each other where we are having to comply to the rules and the regulations of what not ever and so it goes on the hamster wheel um, it also creates a creates a sense of separation from ourselves that distancing of emotional and conscious connection with one another and then so it also then brings in and then also brings in a sense of feeling alone feeling loneliness and in that way that loneliness then becomes bitterness I'm not saying everybody's going through this I'm saying there's some of us that actually do feel comfortable with the way that it goes and others don't feel so comfortable and I'm speaking about the ones who actually are making a big noise I'm speaking about the propagators of of the story of the seems like there's a big buzz on the word narration it looks like they've definitely taken the multi the, the mainstream has definitely taken that word from us alternative people because we were the first ones that were talking about the the narration or the the story the script that we're all going through and the script requires a crowning of ice where we're facing these emotional energies in an isolated way and then so projecting if we don't work on it within ourselves it onto others so we become emotionally trapped into that emotional cycle which is devoid from energy, from, from fire, from warmth. What I'm trying to say here is, this is just an observation on how things have been progressing over time, over this, this time. What I'm saying is, we must be mindful and be op aware that if we're feeling a certain sense of feeling, like I really feel like I've got this temper issue that I need to work on. This is just an example that I don't project it onto that person that I, that I am angry at. Because that is how I create a crown of ice for myself. We are meant to step above it, step up. And how we ri rise above this is I've got this mantra that I'm using called, uh, it goes like this. I'm asking that I don't become emotionally objective, uh, that I don't become emotionally entrapped into the projection of the energy as it is right now. That I don't become um, emotionally wrapped up with that story. Because the story's got a lot of twists in it. It's a, it's a mystery, mysterious story, which doesn't seem to have any particular root of its angle in how it presents itself, except it's being written by everyone on the planet as we speak. And so my focus is to not become emotionally op, uh, op, uh, wrapped up into that situation. So I ask to become emotionally mentally spiritually physically objective 
and I will put it down at the end of the of this video so for those who want to try it if you don't want to try it it's fine there's no forcing anyone to do any of this but I practice it every day and it's been helping me to maintain a focused observation and not becoming involved in the story itself I'm writing my own story we're all authentically writing our own story and we're meant to do that that's what we're supposed to do that's what armed heart is all about so I'm sharing this with you guys just so you know I didn't run away I'm still in the in the in the the, the, the line with you and thank you so much again for supporting me in all of this and we're going through this very very well supported supporting one another thank you so much much love to you bye